Hey guys, welcome back to my next Unity tutorial video. So now we want our runner to move, so let's go ahead and make a script. Let's call it runner. Drag it onto our runner. And then let's open the script up. So, because the player doesn't really have any control over how he runs, what we want to do is just apply an acceleration to our runner over time. So public float speed, we just set that to zero, and he has a rigid body, and we want to add a force, and it's going to be a new vector 3. It's only going to be in the x direction, and it is a acceleration. So if you run the game right now, he won't actually move, even though he's getting an acceler or the acceleration zero, so he won't move anyways. But even if it was like five, he won't actually move. See how he just stops? So we need to actually do something to our prefab so that he can move. And the thing we're going to do is let's go ahead and create another folder called materials. And the thing we're going to have to do is create a couple physics materials. And a physics material is a way for the physics objects to interact with other objects. Um, we'll call this a let's call this a fast platform. So we're going to have three different types of platforms. There's going to be fast, fast platforms, slow platforms, and regular platforms. And the only thing we're going to change is the amount of friction that is applied by each different one. So a slow platform and a just a platform. A regular platform. So go to your regular platform and we're going to change this dynamic friction to 1. We're going to increase the friction combined to maximum and maximum for the bounce. And everything else should pretty pretty much be zero. Uh, for the fast, we're gonna say 0.05, and same thing here. And in the slow, we're gonna say two, and the same things. Now we are going to go back to our platform manager, and we're gonna include another list. And this is going to be a list of physics material. Uh, and now for each physics material we're also going to want a regular material to color it so we can actually see this stuff work. So the first thing we're going to do is create a material. We'll call this a fast P and then we're going to do the same thing for the other ones. Slow P and regular P. So our fast platforms are going to be red. Our regular platforms are going to be blue. And our slow platforms are going to be yellow. So we're also going to want another list of materials called regular mats and now we're going to assign in our platform manager our platforms or our mats materials so take the fast material and the fast and you're just going to add them in in tandem with the other one So your array or list should look like this, because the same index for this one is going to be the same index for that one, and that's how we're going to assign them. So if we go back to our start method, when we get down to here, we're going to say int, 
index equals random dot range zero to the count of our physics materials and then we want to say g dot renderer dot material equals regular mats sub index and g dot collider dot material equals physics mats sub index and save that and now if you play it here we go our guy is kind of trying to move forward but he can still because we need one more physics material for the player himself or runner and we're going to go ahead and say 1-1 one, one. you need the rest of the stuff and so it should be there so let's see how our force is looking uh, and there we go we fall off the edge so we're going to go ahead and constrain our movements again we're going to prevent our rotation and we're going to freeze our position um, now we're going to take the camera and drop it into the uh, game object runner and now our guy will slide along and fall okay so now we got a couple more things we got to do we need to be able to jump which is pretty important and the way we're going to jump is we're going to use a vector 3 and we're going to uh, wait for a key press and then we're going to fire this vector and apply it to our uh, movement um, we're going to move over one in the x direction and then seven up so if input dot get key dot space so if he presses space then we're going to want to apply our jump and we're also going to need to make sure that when we jump we're on the ground and not in the air so we can't double jump or triple jump or something and the way we're going to do that is on collision enter and void on collision exit and then one more on collision stay and then these three functions are going to control a flag that's going to be set public wall is on ground we'll set that to false if we ever jump we're going to say is on ground is true and if we enter the collision then we can assume we're on the ground no, this should be false. We can assume we're on the ground because we just entered a collision. If we're still on the collision, we can also, and only if we leave the collision are we in the air. And then we want to say, and we are on the ground. So, we want to add a force and it's going to be jump height and the force mode is going to be a velocity change so if you click play now you can jump it's pretty high but the game doesn't actually continue onwards so that's what we're going to do next and and the next thing we're going to do is 
let's go ahead and clean up this guy's jump. So we're going to increase his weight to 2. Then his jump will look like that. And as he keeps getting faster and faster. Now, another thing we want to fix is that if he's not on the ground, then we don't want to apply this force to him. So only if he's actually on the ground. Oh, I did that backwards. If he's on the ground, we want to apply the force. And all right, we're also going to need a death height for our guy. And a death height is going to be just a float. And this is going to be the height at which we'll consider him dead. So if we look at our position when he falls. We'll see that it goes straight down. It's probably negative, say negative 10. So if the game object dot transform dot position dot y is less than our death height. And we want to do something. And one of the things we want to do is we want to reset, we want to set our velocity to zero. We want to, and we want to set our position to zero as well. If we do this and we fall, it should reset us to zero zero zero. And zero 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 is not actually good. So let's say one one zero. And okay, so now our game resets, but it still doesn't continue on. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, click on any of the links on the screen to view our other videos, and be sure to like and subscribe.